Morning Asmon here. Today I just wanted to show case a build that you probably have seen already on this channel if you have been there last week. This I mostly make to remind people that this type of character is a viable league starter. However, in this video I will not go over all the details because I do indeed have guides on this character already that I will be linking somewhere on the screen right now. So if you are interested in this type of character, this is a spark recaller. This is very much league startable and while the other videos are there and you can check them out to like to see how exactly the character is built, just want to talk a bit about it. Because I have league started with it in a private league setting last league and as soon as I did hit maps and uh, things came together it worked very well. I needed quite some stuff to make it feel really good but all of that is figured out by now and you can just see in the guides how everything works. Stuff like Val Clarity helps a lot and just the biggest problem of this type of character is fixing your mana issue and when the mana issue is set then you can play pretty much whatever. I did play tier 17 maps in the private league on fairly scuffed gear last league and due to the nerves to tier 17 maps it's going to be a lot easier. Like the biggest nerf to this build here is that um, we cannot use Divine Blessing anymore because that got removed from the game. So we will lose some damage there, but we also do gain links, so there might be ways to get the damage elsewhere. You could also drop the Grace somewhere, I do have it. Also drop Grace and use um, Wrath over that due to the nerfs to Grace. The character is pretty like tanky even without Grace, it doesn't really matter too much, so it's nice to not get hit all the time. But we have so good recovery that yeah, it's not really much of an issue. As you can see it's a low life character with petrified blood as most of my characters are because I just like the playstyle. And yeah for leak start you probably could go with the Widowhay version and just a projectile speed quiver which is a very strong combination for spark to get like very very good clear early on. Later on you might want to swap to a rare weapon due to the new enchantments and stuff. But yeah overall as I said this is private league gear and nothing too crazy here. There's some stuff obviously from graveyards where you have to like reduce some of the values a bit but overall it's like nothing too crazy it's just normal gear. This version has spell suppression in it, which was more difficult to get, but um, even without spell suppression it's very durable. But I would recommend to have some spell suppression for T70 maps, just makes the build a lot more enjoyable and very rare to die in T70 maps. Maybe you die to a boss when you get one shot or something, but usually you do survive. Like we have 15k evasion here and when we drop the grace we go down to 5k, so with the new um, grace values, this might go down to 10k or something anyway. So you could just drop evasion and uh, like grace overall, or drop the wrath and take something else. But this is like the biggest hit the character did take. Overall, there hasn't been any changes to any of the stuff this character is using. So everything is unchanged, except, as I said, for the wrath. We check there really shouldn't be anything else have to take care of. But yeah, as I said, I did make quite a few videos that will be linked about this character, so I won't go over everything. I have covered different types of the character, but as always, if you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments. I will answer anything that comes up. So thanks for watching. Have a great league start. I will likely tomorrow talk about my league start this season, which will be a bit more funky. But yeah, until then, have a nice day and see you the next time.